Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome back to more Rebel Inc. Escalation in our brutal Curious Bulldozer campaign. We have one map left, the Secluded Savannah. Crime Syndicate, corruption goes up significantly faster. Pretty terrible perk, but we'll just have to pay attention to it. HQ, already established in a predetermined zone to get some extra cash. Peace negotiations are slower. You know, I don't like this, only because we can farm out a lot of reputation, which sometimes saves your game, but hopefully it's not going to matter. And extra civilian initiatives already funded. So, um, we already have extra funds from, uh, uh, civilian initiatives here, extra civilian initiatives here, and we have a perk. Basically, the civilian initiative tree is going to be almost entirely filled out right from the get-go, which is going to be an amazing boost for me. I am not going to go for the smuggler just because it's difficult for me to control the corruption. I think we'll do the economist because I don't want to do development director even though I think it's honestly fine. Actually, the development director here would be really good, wouldn't it? Because we have so many things that can roll out quickly and it won't cost me money if we already have the initiative. You know what? We're going to do development director. I don't get to use her very often. She's good. Let's do it. Journalist for Intel. Yep, I like that better. Uh, militia chief... I don't want to do an increase in corruption. Let's go for faster peace negotiation. We're going to go for armchair architect since I already have a random HQ, so we might as well just get free money at this point. It's better than anything else here anyway. Wealthy exile. Low reputation doesn't hurt my money. In fact, I'm going to go for the corruption reduction because that works very well for this particular map. Chef for longer deployments, I think, is the only way to go here. And more frequent airstrikes. Um, I like being able to travel through stable zones faster, and we should be able to stabilize quickly. Let's do that instead. Alrighty. So, starting with a, gear, um, a free unit is nice. Where am I going to place down my HQ? Right here is actually where I already have it, so that's where I was going to place it, so this is perfect. Coalition. Let's go ahead and start getting these urban areas uh, back under control. I'm okay with you guys having this area, but I don't really want to have them spawn like in the center area, because then they're more likely to join their troops up. And that just makes my life a heck of a lot harder. So, we started with all of this! Oh my god! Holy crud, that's fantastic. Let's go for the effective procurement and some intelligence. Um, honestly, with all these initiatives, I don't really care about some of this, so let's go for the regional census. And we want to get the urban areas under control as quickly as we can. Where are... Where can I get my experts? There they are. Let's roll them out now because they're going to be super duper easy for me to set up. Okay, so we should be able to clear this out. Now we move here. We're going to go ahead and... Wait, I can't place them here? Why not? Oh, we don't have intelligence. Oh, without intelligence, you can't place them. All right, this is a fine place to go. We should be able to roll out initiatives unbelievably quickly here. We do want to get the public relations. I just saw that we had a PR battle, but that's fine. There's a tank over here. Okay, unfortunate, but not a big deal. Let's clear out all these urban areas. All of them need to go. There's even more um, urban spots. Uh, let's go for that PR media office. That is so much support at the beginning of the game. It's ridiculous. All right, so now I'm going to move you here. So this zone should have gotten a pretty nice boost. It doesn't seem to have made as much difference as I expected it to, though. Let's uh, speed time up. Specialist, depot, discovered, yes, blah, blah, blah. All right, that's clear. We have now some military initiatives. Um, so there's an urban, a remote, and a tank. Wow. Well, we need to get some more coalition soldiers. The problem with... Oh my god, another tank? What is going on? Oh god, you're over here. Can't let you be there. Can't let you be there. Um, oh god, how are we going to do this? We have to clear this out and move fast. Uh, I don't want them taking this specialist. We may not have a choice, though. So another coalition soldier is needed. Oh god, they're going to kill my... They're going to kill my guys. Quickly, defend them. Okay, we found a camp in the zone that I was actively working on. Ridiculous. All right, we're going to chase them out of here. So that's good. Um, we need to get these tanks out of here before the insurgents can take them. Because that will get me killed. More coalition soldiers. They're expensive with the development director, but that's fine. We're going to deploy you. I think you're fine. You're actually a pretty darn good attachment. Let's get over here and grab this other tank. I'm probably just going to get rid of the tanks for the cash, because I don't need it. Let's get over here next. No, 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 wait, they're on my... No, they're not on my HQ. I thought they were for a moment, but they're not. Okay. Let's get over here next. We're going to chase them away. If we can. I don't know where they're going to go, but let's chase them away. Uh, remote specialist is really good. We'll hold on to that and apply you, I don't know, here. Scrap this tank as well. Okay. So now, what do I want to do? I want to go... 
I'm gonna go clear out some more zones before they can become a threat, honestly. Let's get the airstrikes going. We have so many initiatives already, it's ridiculous. But we're gonna grab the outreach office because we can roll out. Look at how many hammers we have. We can roll out so many initiatives so quickly right now, it's ridiculous. Alright, these guys being in an urban area is unacceptable. We're gonna have to fight over that. We can clear these guys out of the mountains, though. I'm gonna move over here and try to clear out this zone, too. Minus 13? That's what I'm talking about. That's why we don't want that. I have to move you over here now. I need roads. Lots of them, actually. Okay, some stabilization happening now. That's good. They're gonna be in these mountains. There's probably a camp up over here, but that's fine. These guys are gonna get cleared out. Good. I don't want these guys going into these urban areas. It's really crucial we kill these guys off quick. I need some... What do I need? Strategic communications for lots of support so we can stabilize zones quickly. I gotta be careful or I could find myself in a weird situation where I'm gonna lose this anyway. Despite the fact that we had all the advantages going in. Why is this urban area still not done? It's almost done. Okay, now let's go over here. Uh, you go here, clear them out. Okay, the roads will make a big difference. Universal Justice is pretty solid. We could also roll out initiatives that haven't been funded. No. Speed up initiatives, I think that's great. Simply because we have so many. Let's try to antagonize people less. Uh, I do want the foreign relations. Move fast. We do move fast with roads, thank you. Can I get the foreign relations office in time? I'm not sure we can. Maybe we can. Oh, wait. That was enough. Okay, there we go. Subtle pressure. I was kind of thinking we weren't going to get that event. There we go. Okay, so they're getting a lot over here, and the insurgent activity is going to start building up pretty quick. I need more soldiers so I can clear out this group. As it is, though, we should be able to transport around pretty quickly and defend with just one specialist. So let's move over here and try to fight them back. You're going to come up over here, and I think this is fine easily push these guys out of here. With the remote specialist, we should be able to win this fight, right? Pomegranate, pomegranate Juice Factory. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But I will go for a significant boost in our support level. Why not? Um, we still don't have any civil assistance. I have to defend this. Okay, yeah, we are winning fine with the remote specialist, so that's good. Let's start training up some new troops. We have plenty of reputation at the moment, so I can afford to keep these guys all on for at least one more tour. You're gonna move over here now. Doing just fine and dandy. Thank you, experts. Let's go for some civil assistance. Found a cave, but as long as they don't get to the cave, it doesn't matter. Still costing me money to roll out these initiatives, but one dollar for fast initiatives is a small price to pay, I think. Whoops. Let's get over here. Okay, one guy here honestly can defend both these urban zones. We can defend the mountains. I think these guys are effectively contained. We just have to watch out for a new camp in these areas. Garrisons would make a lot of sense right now. Especially in a place like this, sure. Okay, doing good, doing really good. I'd like to move you elsewhere so we can have the development director move over there. Uh, what does this do? Allow expert to withstand small-scale insurgents without before they die. Eh. As long as we defend them, it doesn't matter. Uh, more roads? Telecommunications would be really good. Let's do that instead. Can roll those out to get loads of extra support. I'm gonna do... Let's see. You're a regular one. I'm actually gonna... Uh, uh, uh. I want to keep the experts more than anything. I might let you leave. Okay, now let's go to remote areas and start building that up. I could afford a replacement if I get to $21. I think I'm gonna let you go home. I'm gonna save the reputation spent on these guys. We actually should start also getting, um, actually we may not even need it, we can use just national soldiers. We should get some policing. I'll get them universal justice first so we don't lose support, but yeah. The policing will let me uh, keep these guys contained using our security forces, which buys me a lot of time. These guys I think are gonna be okay, right? Maybe not. Let's go for some security. Corruption's building up pretty high. We need to start reducing that. Let's move you over here just so we can defend, uh, get some stability real quick. Or sorry, some support. Combat support. So far, still looking pretty good. You guys want to leave, but we're going to have it do a uh, full extension. 15! Ouch. Admittedly, that's a little on the expensive side. 
We need to do corruption reduction. We're at 50%. That's going to cost me too much per month. You guys are doing good so far. All right, let's move. Whoop. See this. Let's get over here. Uh, cover up 21% chance ends up being okay. We need to get some more national soldiers going. A garrison here would be fantastic. We are way too high in corruption. Let's threaten them. Yeah, corruption's costing me a fair bit. Get rid of this camp quickly, please. Thank you. Okay, so that didn't end up being an issue. Subtle pressure. Let's get up over here. Okay, more corruption reduction. Do that. We actually... Did I already get the local police expansion? I don't remember getting that, but we did. Hmm. We lost reputation here, but we should be able to get it back really quickly. Keep the rules unchanged. So far, this is going really, really well. We are building up these zones super duper fast. Yes, yes, I know, anti-corruption teams. Let's go ahead and do a purge. That helps reset things back down to a more manageable level. Uh, 42%, which you wouldn't think is very manageable, but it is. Pay ransom. I'm going to... I would like to do a rescue raid, but we can't. What do I need for a rescue raid? I don't know. We need more soldiers in the zone. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to just ignore them. All right, we lose reputation as a result, but oh well. I couldn't justify spending the money on it, to be honest. I just couldn't... I, I couldn't do it. I come out to do it, Captain! Come on, finish the zone faster. All right, you stay. Do a long extension. We've lost a lot of reputation. But it's okay. We have more troops on the way, and we should honestly train more. I think I see them going into this urban area. Let's move. Yeah, having those roads gives me so much flexibility. We can do more with less units, and that's honestly a huge advantage. All right, we could actually clear these guys out now. And I do want to do that. Okay, this is done. We are going to move here and try to kill these guys quickly so we can finally have this done. Okay, I see them moving. We can handle it, though. Threaten, 4% chance. Extra reputation for me. Thank you. Come on. Oh, they're not dead. No! No, 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 no. Ah, we messed it up. All right, well, the good news is we finally cleared them out of here, then. Let us get over here. You need to keep him out of this zone. I'm okay with you guys being over here. At least we can finish this off quickly. Okay, we're fighting and we're reinforcing at the same time, which is proving great. A garrison here is kind of worthless. I don't know why we have it. Uh, let's go for faster transportation. Let's go for more soldiers. Um, let's go for dirt roads. There's a lot of remote areas on this map. This is going to be a little bit too difficult for me to get into a corner, I think. It's certainly not going to be easy. But we can do it. Threaten 12% chance. It worked, thank God. Let's get some more soldiers going. Because I can't afford to keep these uh, coalition soldiers any longer than this. They are going into the corner. Good. Now we can move you guys down here. And you're going to move here, and you're going to move here, and this time they are going to die. Good. All right. Let's move you over here, so we have somebody sitting in this remote zone, just in case they come over here. This guy can easily defend the rest. With the remote specialist, they take no time at all. Now, remote specialist goes here. You move here to roll out initiatives. You move here, and you go into the mountains. Let's go for the drones, for the extra intelligence. We did find a camp. We should be able to bomb that pretty quick, I would think. We actually finished this already, so let's move... Where? Here? Nah, let's move over here. We can fight and reinforce at the same time. It actually is fine to push forward. Let's try to talk now. Yeah, yeah, this should be no problem at all. Subtle pressure. No more support for you. Okay, that zone is apparently going to take a long time. Let's go for some extra strength. Let's roll out initiatives faster. Okay, that took no time at all. Now we can move you forward, even if you are an urban specialist. I don't think it matters. These guys are going to move back over here. How'd they retake the zone? I don't know, but they did. Uh, we don't need a corruption reduction, but I would like to get the remote subsidy so we can roll out faster, since most of our guys are going to be in remote areas. Found a cave. I need to clear that out. It's going to cost me $12. That's a lot of dollars. Insurgents are banned. 
can't believe you guys thought that I was going to let you stay. It's ridiculous. All right, you go home. Let's move you here. We did not lose any reputation from retreating from a fight. We left just in time, so that's good. We got a lot of caves all of a sudden. Good lord, let's clear those all out. So you're done. Let's clear out this cave and then we can move you forward. Honestly, at this point, I'm not sure that we need the development experts, but I guess we will. I feel like they're just going to die, actually. Never mind. They're not helpful anymore. Let's just sit here. And we're actually going to have people in every single zone, so at this point, we shouldn't have any more insurgents spawn. The reason I didn't want the experts here is I was pretty sure a camp can technically spawn in this area, and I didn't want that. So we've officially won at this point. Let's go ahead and reduce that corruption. Let's get some extra uh, education initiatives, I suppose. A pistachio cultivation center? Why not? Yeah, we won. Okay, so now we just want to farm out reputation. I want to go for the democratic transition if I don't have it already, which I do not. That can get me a little bit of extra. Say you're sorry. Put aside your pride for a moment and admit you were wrong. Um, uh, a garrison, I guess, we'll keep just in case something happens, but it doesn't matter. Hand over all your weapons. Uh, you can now go home. And we may have a new camp, but we can deal with that just by moving you over here. I'm about positive we're going to have a new camp, actually. Reject the deal? Farm them out? Sure, why not? Let's get some more reputation going. Oh, right, I want to prioritize elections. Yep, they did spawn, see? It happens every time. As soon as you leave, if they have nowhere else to go, they're going to be there. Three reputation out of prioritized elections. Uh, I guess we can reject the project. I don't really care. All right, so these guys are going to die. And if there are no insurgents, we get progress on our peace a lot faster. Though I think on this map we had reduced peace negotiation speed, so we're probably not going to be able to farm out that much. Let's go for some international assistance. Why not? Okay, we'll finish that off. So now we just sit back and wait until we have re uh, built up our support in a lot of locations. Let's go for the full elections. It is impossible for you guys to try and mess with me. Let's go for the development bank and the remote subsidies. Let's go for some dirt roads, since that's the only place we're going to be fighting from here on out. Uh, we're going to go for a full reform and enjoy four more reputation. Now we're up to 90. Not bad, not bad. How are we looking in this zone? Pretty good. How are we looking over here? Pretty good. So these two zones are the ones that are going to take the longest. Do you have any needs? No. Okay. Uh, let's go for electricity. We'll roll it out twice. We can roll out uh, initiatives even faster. Oh, extra reputation for stabilizing zones. We are going to reject the peace deal one more time. And actually, yeah, that uh, means we're going to get loads of reputation. We should actually get one more nearby re uh, region stabilized, which gets me some cash and some more reputation. So we should walk away with a pretty reasonable score here, though we don't have to do any peace at all. Pesticides? Sure, let's increase the support level a little bit. What else do we want? Telecommunications! Tuberculosis! Twice! I don't know, it's a really easy one to roll out, and people tend to like it. Last zone remaining, and it is going up really fast. We'll be done with this quickly. Let's send these guys home. And just about to be done. Three, two, one, finish, and we win. Perfect. All right, that went really stinking well. We win our campaign, ladies and gentlemen. Three stars again, though. I swear, I don't know how you get really good score on the campaigns. Five stars on every map should translate into five stars, dang it. That's how it's supposed to work. Nah, we should have just gone a lot faster. But either way, so that campaign went pretty well. Um, honestly, it's it's good campaigns like this that make me want to consider going on to Mega Brutal. It's just I know because I can't save scum any of this stuff, uh, I will probably spend on average 12 hours before the stars align and I get five Mega Brutal maps in a row where I can win. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I think Brutal Difficulty is still the best I can do, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm still having fun with these campaigns, and I'm sad that we didn't get to see many, if any, of the new perks. But, uh, oh well. You know, again, there are some new ones. Look at the patch notes, and I'm sure you can find out what's going on there. Thank you all very much for watching this short series of Rebel Inc. Escalation. I hope that you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>